And now shifting our attention to the latest comment that's been made by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu who stated that Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah was the main engine of Iran's axis of evil whose elimination was a necessary step towards shifting the balance of power in the Middle East. Netanyahu also warned that Israel's work is not yet complete and that challenging days lie ahead. He also said that Israel remains committed to the philosophy of and I caught if someone rises to kill you, you kill him first, unquote. So that's the uh, big comment coming in from Israel uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on this latest uh, strike carried out by Israel, who's spoken of the intention of Israel and how Israel has a momentum. He says Israel is winning. Uh, we're determined to continue striking our enemies to return our residents to their homes and to return all of our hostages. We do not forget them even for a moment. He says not only has Hezbollah discovered the fact that uh, uh, Nasrallah spoke about us as a spider web, but the entire Middle East has discovered the same. So he's speaking of how this was the need of the hour. He says as long as Nasrallah was alive, he would have quickly rebuilt the capabilities we have taken away from Hezbollah. Listen in. Hakam lo orgecha, ashkem lo orgo. מדינת ישראל חיסלה אתמול את רב המרצחים חסן נסראללה. סגרנו חשבון עם מי שאחראי לרצח אין ספור ישראלים ואזרחים רבים של מדינות אחרות, כולל מאות אמריקנים ועשרות צרפתים. נסראללה לא היה עוד מחבל, הוא היה המחבל. הוא היה הציר של הציר, המנוע המרכזי של ציר הרשע של איראן. הוא ואנשיו היו אדריכלי התוכנית להשמדת ישראל. הוא לא רק הופעל על ידי איראן, הרבה פעמים הוא גם הפעיל את איראן. ולכן בתחילת השבוע הגעתי למסקנה שהמכות העוצמתיות שצה"ל הנחית על חיזבאללה בימים האחרונים, המכות האלה לא יספיקו. חיסולו של נסראללה הוא תנאי הכרחי להשגת היעדים שהצבנו. החזרת תושבי הצפון בבטחה לבתיהם ושינוי מאזן הכוחות באזור לאורך שנים. כי כל עוד נסראללה חי הוא היה משקם במהירות את היכולות שגרענו מחיזבאללה. ולכן נתתי את ההנחיה, ונסראללה כבר לא איתנו. חיסולו מקדם את החזרת תושבינו לבתיהם בצפון, והוא גם מקדם את השבת חטופינו בדרום. ככל שסנוואר רואה שחיזבאללה כבר לא יבוא להצילו, כך גדלים הסיכויים להשבת חטופינו. My colleague Sidhan Mishra joins us on the phone line with more. A very good morning to you, Sidhan. You know, that's uh, Benjamin Netanyahu once again making Israel's intentions absolutely clear with U.S. President Joe Biden also hailing this latest assault carried out by Israel. And, you know, Benjamin Netanyahu says in as many words that uh, Nasrullah was not just any other terrorist. He was the terrorist. What do we make of the ongoing situation? So far, the focus was on the manner in which there was a little bit of, uh, you know, loss of life taking place in Lebanon. And that was a concern being raised by many global players. But suddenly the focus is completely shifted to these activities of uh, Hezbollah and how Israel wants to de de demolish it. Well, uh, in fact, yesterday, Netanyahu made it very, very clear. One thing he made it very clear that, uh, that, that, that challenging days lie ahead. Uh, Netanyahu also, uh, in his uh, address, uh, said that uh, Nasrullah's el elimination was a necessary step towards shifting the balance of power in the Middle East. Now, uh, you know, they, it is indeed, uh, it is indeed uh, uh, an uh, Osama bin Laden movement for Israel. But, uh, uh, but if we look beyond that, then by doing this, Israel has shifted the balance of power in the Middle East. Now, Iran used to exercise control over Mid Middle East through its proxies. And uh, first Hamas and now Hezbollah, the chiefs have been eliminated. They have been, uh, 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 they, they have been finished. The entire cadre of these two uh, militant groups have been uh, have been eliminated, uh, and Israel is making sure that these these groups don't regroup again against the Israel. That's the target of uh, Israel, and they have successfully successfully managed to achieve that also, both in the case of Hamas and Hezbollah. So this is the worst 
uh, ever time for Iran uh, in last maybe two decades, three decades, that two of its proxies uh, are uh, are on the verge of getting finished now. They are almost finished. Their chiefs have been um, eliminated. Uh, so, you know, and proxies are very important. Uh, proxies play a very important role when it comes to the security framework of uh, Iran uh, in the Middle East. So Iran is at its weakest. Uh, 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 there are many, uh, uh, you know, there are many questions that are being raised. And in fact, uh, people are talking about it, whether Iran will retaliate or not. Uh, Iran understands one thing that given U.S. elections going on, uh, you know, and there is a chance of new president coming uh, after November, Iran uh, Iran is uh, on a defensive mode and not in a mood of taking risks by directly engaging militarily with Israel. Because if that happens, then Iran knows that there's nobody to stop Israel right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that is, that is one uh, aspect. In fact, yesterday the White House came up with a came out with a statement, and in fact, Joe Biden uh, supported uh, uh, the killing of Netanyahu, uh, and and you know supported the Israel uh, as well. And Joe Biden says that Hassan Nasrallah and the terrorist yes. group he led were responsible for killing hundreds of Americans hmm. over four decades. In oh, fact, yes. he also said that he directs his Secretary of Defense to further enhance the defense. Uh, posture of U.S. military forces in the Middle East region. So, uh, so you know, Biden is backing Netanyahu. That's very clear. America is backing Netanyahu hmm. uh, what they have done and perhaps what they're doing because uh, Israel is also planning ground invasion uh, in uh, in Lebanon. Hmm. So, uh, so that is how the situation in the Middle East looks like. The situation has flared up. But it is very unlikely that Iran will retaliate, given hmm. the support that America is extending for yes, Israel. Yes, even though Iran's also, Supreme Commander has called this a savage act, and we do know about the role that uh, Nasrullah played, uh, you know, in the internal dynamics of the country as well.